Hi, this is Lisa McManus from ATK Gearheads, and I'm here to answer some of your questions about recyclable and reusable products in your kitchen. Um, we had a question about whether grocers will allow you to bring bags from home in COVID times. Um, yeah, I think every town and city is different. We had a ban for a, several months last year um, of bringing your reusable shopping bags from home. And I have to tell you, it was shocking how much plastic bags we acquired in a short time. Just, I was just really taken aback. I couldn't wait for them to lift that ban and go back to reusable bags, which they did. And I'm just really grateful because, wow, they really save a lot of plastic. So bringing your shopping totes from home, as long as it's okay to do in your community, obviously makes a huge difference. So it's a great thing to do. Another question we had, um, someone said using the reusable produce bags that we recommended is not the greatest idea because the produce is sold by weight and you end up paying more for the product um, because the bags weigh something. Um, the bags that we recommend by Purify You, uh, the largest bag weighs 1.8 ounce, the medium size bag is 0.7 ounces. So you're buying produce by the pound and your and your bag is weighing at the most, just under two ounces. I don't think that couple of pennies is really gonna make a huge difference in your final total. Um, so from my point of view, it's worth it. But they also print the weight of the bag on the little colorful tag on the side. I have one right here. And um, it, this one has this little tag on the side and on the back it tells you the, the tear weight, T-A-R-E, which is the, you know, be able to zero it out of the scale. And this one is 0.73 ounces. Um, and it holds quite a lot. So, you know, it's it's very lightweight, in other words. And so you're not going to be paying a ton extra money for using these. And, you know, sometimes it's a trade-off. Uh, you want to do something good for the environment. It might cost you a little bit more. But some grocers will actually deduct the weight of the bag. I know a lot of checkout people are really busy and they, just, they look at you like, are you crazy? So, unfortunately, it kind of depends on where you shop and whether they've seen a lot of these, but I think the more people come in with them and ask for it, the more they're gonna figure it out. So, you know, we, we, we vote with our feet pretty much as far as our actions have to start doing the talking and then things will change. Um, the, someone pointed out the gasket on the Rubbermaid plastic containers does trap odors. She said her cookies tasted like onions after a day. Um, she said she still likes the containers, but it's not true. They don't trap odors. The thing about those containers is the gasket is not fully removable. It's attached on one side. So you don't have to worry about taking it out and losing it or having to thread it back in like on other containers, but it is kind of like, um, it's kind of like cleaning the gutters on a house, you know, they're, they're open on one side. You got to get under there and wash You can't just ignore it and just wash the outside of it. You have to kind of pull it up and just wash under it. So that will make a difference in whether or not you're trapping any food odors. Um, and if you do that, they don't trap odors. Um, or at least not in my experience with them. Um, someone said plastic Rezip bags and sous vide cooking. Yeah, the reusable silicone bags for sous vide cooking. We haven't tested that and a couple people brought that up and thank you for that suggestion. Um, I'm actually in the process of testing sous vide circulators right now. Um, so maybe that's our next step is testing some of those bags that you can reuse. Um, I know that you can use those. Uh, one of the products I'm testing actually sent some that you could reuse. So that was kind of cool. And we'll see if we like the actual circulator, but it did make me think what a great thing to reuse the bags. Um, we do use vacuum sealing and we use regular Ziploc bags. Um, but yeah, it'd be great to be able to use one over and over. Um, so thanks for that suggestion. I don't have an answer for you now, but maybe we will soon. And uh, the final question was, although you can use silicone repeatedly, is it actually easily recyclable? I did a little digging and it turns out it's not that easy to recycle, although it is recyclable. But the general accepted wisdom about it is that it lasts so much longer than other plastics that it actually is worth going in the direction of silicone if you are gonna use say a silicone lid instead of a piece of plastic um, to cover a bowl. Um, so there are some places that accept it, but I think you have to kind of, um, you have to do a little research and find a place that will accept silicone to be recycled. 
Um, and unfortunately, it's not, you know, considered a regular plastic for recycling. So I hope those answers were helpful and I hope we'll see you next time on Gearheads. Thanks a lot.